Hey guys, it's Alex coming to you from PRI. Um, I wanted to show you what's going on at the VMP booth. Let's get right to it. I do not like wasting your time. I'm here at the VMP booth and I'm gonna show you some of the new products that we're gonna come out with. We're gonna show you the Gen 3. We're gonna show you new throttle bodies. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of things that we're gonna come out with and a new race car that we're debuting at the Anderson Composites booth. So check it out. So everyone knows this is Rebecca Starkey's race car. It's a 2011 Mustang. It's been 837 on blower only. A little 2.3 doing some work. We are here at the booth, and what we're going to start with is the 10 rib stuff. We're going to be debuting 10 rib stuff with 15% overdrives, 10 rib. So instead of 8 rib, going 10 rib, so we have no belt slip. Now you can buy a 10 rib and put an 8 rib belt in between, so it's not going to be an issue as long as it doesn't walk anywhere and you aligned everything properly. Got the Gen 2. Everyone knows the Gen 2 R. This guy, this is the Gen 3. So I'm going to back out a little bit and you can see the difference between the Gen 2 R and the Gen 3. It's a very slight difference, but this is a 2650 rotor pack and this is a 2300 rotor pack. Old trusty twin 67 hanging out. And we're going to debut at PRI the 173 big boy throttle body for the Gen 3 bolt pattern. Okay, this is basically the prototype. This is the finished product and this is the 160 which will be able to fit on a gen 2r with an adapter um but basically this is an, a race application if you're you know the twin 67 will make plenty but when it comes to you know the 160 this is for balls to the wall race application and this is when you really want to push someone shit in you get the 173 on a gen 3 so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go to the anderson composite booth in a little bit show you rebecca's new race car so guys, this is the 173, and before you ask anything about will it fit on a Gen 2R, well, this is why it won't. <laughs> the blades are physically bigger than the inlet, so this is meant for Gen 3. We're going to keep it at Gen 3. This guy with the 160 with an adapter will do just fine, but this is for just badass shit right here. So, like I said, I'll be here at the Anderson Composite booth at PRI. There's the car owner, Rebecca Starkey. I'll talk to her in a second and wanted to show you her 2018 mustang now i'll let her give you all the details about it because honestly they built it themselves at their house i had no part in putting this together or anything it was literally like the first time i saw it in person was here at pri they kept it real close to the vest i'll just kind of give you a go around it's got carbon fiber front fascia carbon fiber hood it's got carbon fiber grill insert carbon fiber fenders doors and the, the first thing i noticed about the fenders and the doors is the weaves match really cool um they have a rear view mirror deletes on it and i'll have to get rebecca to give you some more details about the car because honestly i don't know who makes the wing and all that stuff but i'll give you the go around and go around to her and uh have her talk about the car a little bit and uh go from there hey rebecca so tell me a little bit about the car like i don't know who manufactures a lot of the parts especially the wing and stuff like that but just kind of give me a go around of the car if you don't mind so um anderson composites did all the carbon um, okay it was not structural steel um it was carbon from anderson okay so, um and then the wing is tucci hot rods uh dave tucci helped us out a ton with that it was a really cool wing we saw it at sema kind of like gotta have it so right that bps did the mirror deletes for us um, we got optic armor, um, front and rear, rear windows. That's optic armor. Wow, I I didn't know. It looks really yeah, looks factory glass like. And straight, it, it turned out really nice. Excellent. Um, and then it does have factory glass in the uh, doors and uh, corners. Um, getting ready to. So you're going to run, you, what are you planning to campaign this car in, in terms of where are we going to run this car, where are we going to see it run? Um, it's going to be an ultra street car, 8th mile racing, radial racing, um, we did ducks races last year, had a lot of fun, but mm -hmm. want to be a little bit more competitive, so we are... So you're building this thing? <laughs> How long did it take to build? I know it was a total secret, like the shop guys didn't see it, nobody saw it. How long between the times you guys decided to build it and it actually got built? Because I know you guys kind of ramped it up and you were working on it all night and everything. Yeah. It was 14 days. <laughs> 14 days, you guys got it all built. Ah, damn. And who did the cage work and all that stuff? Uh, TRZ did that. Okay. And um, it's 25.3, good down to 650, so. Very good. Now, go come with me. 
Are you going to keep a 17 on it, or are we going to go with a 15 eventually with the with the car? Um, it's going to get a four link from um, TRZ, so it will end up with a 15. Excellent. No, I, I love how it looks. Now, are these wheels going to stay, or we're going to go with a different type of wheel? What are we doing? We probably will stay with something. I like a, a five spoke. Okay. Snob, so, <laughs> so uh, it'll be if it's not something just like this, it'll be real simple. Excellent. Well, we love the car. It blown up the internet. It's all over Instagram. <laughs> so I appreciate you talking to me about it for a second. No Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Here at the Stainless uh, Stainless Works booth, they have the Murder Nova here. I know you guys are Street Outlaw fans, pretty much. Uh, I'm not gonna nut ride this car too much, but it's here. It's cool. It's very, very impressive looking. A lot of work looked like it was done to the car. So uh, again, PRI is basically this, the SEMA version of race shit that's basically the only way i can kind of put it to you guys um not really open to the public but it's really cool to see industry guys i've seen stevie fast i've seen birdman i've seen a bunch of people i talked to neil chance for a little bit and it was just really cool to see cars like this here so like i said it's nothing but race car shit uh circle track dirt track um engines you name it if it's race related it's here and this is just one of the halls um i'm gonna show you guys some of the cnc stuff even you know equal opportunity uh, they even allow Camaros in here uh, <laughs> so a little bit of everything going on here uh, this is a new 20 uh, 2650 coming out <laughs> right there seats 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 bunch of seats oh yeah cool stuff EBS wheels man Beautiful, beautiful display here. Yep, I'll take all of them. Thank you. And I know I'm missing out. I mean, if I literally was to go up and down all the aisles, I'll be here all day. So I'll try to show you the stuff that's on the outside that's easy to get it in and out of. Plymouth Valiant. Never seen one. Never heard of it. But I like it. Well, there's... A um, bit of everything. Starrett is here. Measuring equipment. Freaking CNCs. I mean, they have some of the stuff where they're literally cutting up big chunks of billet into like cylinder heads. Like start to finish type stuff. Pistons, pistons, pistons. More and more pistons. Oh my god. Borla booth. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Dirt car stuff. Hot chicks, hot chicks, hot chicks. That don't give a shit about you. <laughs> Tear bears. More and more tear bears. Gonna go over visit the guys from Deech Works. There's my man, Mark. Um, he actually Introduce me to some of the new stuff they got coming out. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good. At least you, you know, pay attention to me after sex. <laughs> so, real quick, if you don't mind if I can grab you over here, yeah. talk to me about the pump that you were talking to me about, the 400, and what it's, what it tends to flow based on the competitor. I won't name the competitor, but what it, what it tends to flow and, and the benefits of having a pump like that. Okay, this is our DW400. Mm -hmm. um, it's our wash intake pump. New York is wash on it. Right. Well, it's 415 liters per hour, 40 PSI. That's really not what people need fuel. They need fuel 70, 80, 90 PSI when right. running a lot of boost. And that's where this pump really shines. And I wish I had brought uh, our graph, but it flows an average of 31% more than our competitors' pumps do at 70 through 90 PSI. Okay. Um, one pump is capable of supporting 750 on E, 1,000 on pump gas. Two pumps is, we haven't found the ceiling yet, but we're Probably guessing around 1500 on it. So when you say when you say 750, you're saying 750 wheel or are you saying 750 saying crank? 750 wheel. Okay, that's what I want to make sure people know that we're saying wheel horsepower. So a single pump on E will support 750 wheel. Yes. And a thousand on thousand or so on pump gas. Uh, we've had some test pumps go out before we released that confirmed our numbers. Wow. Um, some local people that have run basically just a swap out uh, where they were running a Walbro maxed out right uh, on a turbo car and they put one of these in made 100 additional horsepower and ran out of turbo ran out of turbo, ran out of turbo. <laughs> Big Honda. they were running 90 psi 
just flat pressure, no no boost reference, just 90 psi the whole time. Wow. And made 740 and ran out of turbo. Wow, that's badass. Yes. So are you going to basically start kind of gearing to more towards the pump end of things, or what, or what are we looking I mean, at? We, we're, we specialize in, we've always specialized in drop and fit. So something that you can put in your car without modifying it. Like, you don't have to chop up anything. You don't have to chop up your bucket. This is marketed right now as a universal pump. Okay. But the first two applications we're working on are GT500 and Coyote. Okay. As far as a drop-in kit for this. And that's why I'm here, guys. That's really why I'm here. It's it's Coyote and GT500 related stuff, and they're working on fitment, trying to put stuff in the stock bucket. We're working. They're working on it uh, in-house. And that's why I'm really here. He, when he mentioned Honda, I don't give a shit about Honda. Oh, no, no. But... No, neither, but <laughs> it, it's a good uh, tool of reference when... Exactly. When your tech guy goes to this and watches it on the dyno, sees what they do, watches them swap the pump out. It's a big pump. This is not a, you know, this is a solution for people who really need fuel. So if you want to be that baller dude at the track, this is, this is what you get. It'll seat nine, I think. And, uh, yeah. It's a toolbox, TV, fucking everything. You name it, it's got it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Matches Express has uh, the newer version of the Pro here. Let me just get some room here. There you go. Come on through. It's got a little tire on it, looks like. Some radial stuff. No, that's a, that's a drag, just a little guy. For those of you that did not get a chance to see what the 2650 is going to look like uh, on Ford Performance slash Roush cars, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, different intercooler design, front feed, so I would think this guy is direct to that guy and it gears in the back and comes forward. Shielded. Uh, 110 or 113 millimeter I think I talked to one of the engineer guys there and it's still a 113 so it's gonna make power but obviously you're gonna want a bigger throttle body you're gonna want a bigger cold air so the aftermarket will be busy making this guy honk they say that it makes a ton of power I'm trying to see if there's any power numbers in this guy but I don't really think they have any power numbers they say 700 but who knows if that's crank or if that's underrated like the 2018 gt was but that is what the new 2650 on ford mustang will look like the new zr1 has a 2650 tvs that's why it makes 750 so i can't imagine why this guy with a little bit of aftermarket tuning and help and parts can't do the same thing they will start offering coyote power modules apparently with a tremec six speed or a six r80 ford does uh, actually offer 6R80 controller for the new Coyote so if you want a new uh, you know 15 and up Coyote this guy right here this is basically a crate deal actually yeah this is a 15 and up Coyote not a direct injected guy you can get it with 6R80 or a Tremec transmission right from Ford and looks like Ford Performance is going to start offering crate packages because this is obviously an 07 to 10 sorry 07 to 09 and it's got a direct injected coyote in it so i'm sure ford's not stupid they're going to start offering this stuff going forward the thing about these shows is you can just go around and crop dust people they will know it's you all they do is smell fart all right i am done i'm gonna get out of here and i'm gonna go home and pick up my new car that's right so a lot of you guys were wondering what what am i getting what am i replacing the black car with well i'm about to fly back home to florida pick it up driving down to West Palm Beach and finally show you guys what I'll be replacing the black car with. God, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm behind the Undertaker apparently. Motherfucking under Undertaker's in the house. A little shorter than I thought. Maybe it's a wizard.